And the motor, this is a snowblower. This is one of the simplest uh, transmission of a snowblower and the one I like the most because it's so simple, so very little can go wrong. So when the motor is turning, there is a belt here and a belt here. So this one turns all the, uh, the augers uh, in the front to throw the snow. So here there is um, the teeth that's gonna bring the snow into this compartment and this is gonna blow all the snow out from the chute. So that's to make this part work, okay? I'll show you that after. And then this we wheel here has another belt. This turns, okay, all the time when the motor is running. But the wheels won't turn. You see this? Because the wheels are attached to this mechanism. Do you see there? There's a gear here. A big gear. Turning this gear. Because this turns fast, so it wants to reduce... The, the movement here to the wheels so they don't go super fast all right but it gives a lot more torque so it can push on the snow so this is uh, going forward and this is going backwards so how do you think that just by this simple mechanism it can do back and forth see this is turning like this to go forward so this wheel always turns one way but when you put this wheel on this side here it's going to turn one way and then on this side it's going to turn the other way and right now it's on the forward position so when it touches here okay so this is going forward like this so this wheel always turns clockwise all right it turns like this yeah and then by turning clockwise, uh, it's pushing, it's turning this wheel this way. And then this is turning the gear. And then these are turning the wheels. All right. And when I'm going to put it to reverse, now look what's going to happen here. And this is what I wanted to fix because it's not sliding there very well. So I'm going to put to reverse now. Look what's going to happen. Did you see what happened? That huh? That so moves. yeah, that's it. This came uh, all the way on the well. Now it's on the middle. See, it's not working well. So I'm gonna fix it so it goes well. But this comes on this side. So this, when it's turning clockwise, now this is gonna start turning which way? It's gonna turn this way, right? Mm -hmm. It's gonna turn this way, and then that's gonna make the wheels turn backwards like this okay so now you you see the problem here with the, the the this transmission is this is not working well so what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean this up it's very dry we're gonna clean it up nicely we're gonna lubricate it and it's gonna start moving very well okay, okay so now we uh, cleaned this very nicely and uh, it's a very mild lubricant and then let's shift and see if it's moving better. Oh wow, look at this. It wasn't moving at all. It was like barely moving. And now it's just going back and forth. That's awesome. Okay, so now we're going to also put some grease onto the gears here, white grease. And it's going to make this uh, slow, uh, smoothly um, turn on it without uh, creating any friction that will protect the wheels. So I'm going to also put some grease on the wheel and that's going to make it go nice and smooth. That protects also from corrosion. You have to understand that this is a snow blower, it's always exposed to the element. So a nice layer of grease. This is white grease. You don't want to put too much so it doesn't splash onto the big wheel because that big wheel has to stay clean.
and finally what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean that very well with uh, some uh, alcohol and water it has to be super clean this wheel so that the rubber uh, catches onto it so you you don't want any slipperage on that it has to be nice and clean so I'm gonna take some alcohol and I'm gonna clean it as much as I can That's it. And then if you want, you can always lubricate the other parts so that it doesn't rust.